Hello everyone, my name is Sineha Garwal from BISP Solutions and the topic for today is account combinations in chart of accounts under the Oracle Fusion Financial Applications. So first we'll understand what is the account combinations. Account combinations contain a complete set of segment values that uniquely identifies an account in a chart of accounts. So when we'll record the transactions, we'll have to mention all these segments and their values to uh, uniquely identify an account. So you can see in this screen, there is an example where there is a combination which is created by selecting the company, line of business, account, call center, product, intercompany as the segments. So here are the examples. So you can see this is the same account which is created, but as the company segment is different, there is, there is a different combination each time we create it. So this way we create the accounting combination in the system. If we have, uh, if we have enabled the dynamic combination creation while creating the instance, then these combinations are automatically created by the system, but to control what, are, what all account combination our company or the enterprise requires, we can use the task manage account combination and we can create the combination manually or through the spreadsheets. Else we can use the file-based data import uh, worksheets to import the account combination. This can be done by generating the CSV file and then we'll have to upload them in the Oracle Fusion applications. So today we'll use this manage account combination uh, option to create the sheets manually, to create the accounting combinations manually and through the spreadsheet. First, I'll take you to the instance and show how the combinations are automatically created if we enable the dynamic combination creation allowed in the instance. So if you remember, this is the page from where we had created the structure, its instance, and we have deployed the flex field. So over here, we'll search the module as general ledger, and we'll click on search, and we'll go to manage structure instances. And over here, we can search the structure name. Over here, I'm searching fin SVCS structure. If we click on search, you can see the instance which is created. Now, if you click on the added icon, you will see we have enabled dynamic combination creation allowed. So through this option, all the account combinations which will be created automatically in the system. So we'll uh, search for the task, manage account combination from here, from the project. We'll click manage. Combination. If we search our chart of account over here, which was fin SVS. So all the accounting combinations which are possible, n number of accounting combinations are enabled over here. So all these combinations are already created because we have selected the dynamic combination creation allowed. Now to create, we will click on the add row and we can create a new combination. And through you, uh, the spreadsheet, we can uh, use this option, create a spreadsheet. We'll see how this is done by disallowing the uh, allow uh, by disallowing the dynamic combination creation allowed at the level of instance. So I'll quickly show you how we create the accounting combination from these options. So now we have searched a fusion instance chart of account, which in which the dynamic combination creation is not allowed. So if we we'll click on the search icon over here, you can see no combination is created. To create a new combination, we'll click on the create icon and we'll have to mention the values over here. So uh, the Fusion instance is having two values in the company segment. So first we'll select the Fusion operation. 
as the as the uh, for creating the accounting combination and then we uh, then we will select the other segments so only three segments are there in this so i'll give department as triple zero which means none and account i can give as thousand which is the sorry 2000 which is the cash account so for cash account we want that there should be no department and so we have selected triple zero this way we can create n number of combinations over here and uh, mostly the company uh, does this thing so that the valid accounting combinations are only used by the uh, employees uh, for creating any general entries. However, it will allow the dynamic combination creation. The combinations will be automatically created and there will be a number of accounting combinations and there is, will be a problem for the uh, organization to see how many combinations are valid or invalid. You can also mention the date uh, range in which you want to allow or enable this account combination. Likewise, we can create another combinations also by clicking on add icon. And I'll mention another, like there was a company called as student services. So I've selected 20 as the value. Department I can select as sale 300 and account I can select as 1000 as the sale account. So this way I've created account combination and this is enabled so we can click on the save to save these account combination and to create new account combination we can click the create in spreadsheet icon so when you will click on the uh, create in spreadsheet uh, option a uh, sheet will be downloaded you will have to click on the enable editing and they'll ask you to connect. So you can click on yes. And then they will ask you to enter the login credentials to log in to the spreadsheet. So uh, in that sheet, in that worksheet, you can log in with your login credentials and then a sheet will open. So there you can create the accounting combinations and you can submit the sheet and all the account combinations which you have created in the spreadsheet will be uploaded in the uh, Oracle Fusion application. So this way we create the accounting combinations in the Oracle Fusion applications. Hope you have understood and hope you have understood why we use this task of managing accounting combination. However, there is an option to dynamically uh, create the account combinations uh, automatically. So this was all for today. Thank you for watching.